Um, basically being relentlessly teased for a number of reasons. Um, difficulty reading, um, that was a chore for me to learn how to read. Um, and that's also a lot of what I work with, the children with too. Um, because when I start to sit there and say, so do you remember that sort of nervous feeling that comes into your stomach, your hands sort of get colony, and you're not sure what's going to happen, and you're trying to read ahead, and you're trying to see, okay, which one of the paragraph am I going to read? Let me try to find that, because I don't want to be uh, laughed at because I can't read that paragraph. Um, so that is also something that I had difficulty with with reading out loud, and I find that that works really well to express that and to be able to have that to discuss with other kids that have gone through that. Because um, that's sometimes going along with autism, they also have the difficulty in learning how to read. Um, the inability to tell time in the traditional sense. Um, until I was about 27, I also used a digital watch. Could not tell uh, time on a regular clock. Uh, the letters and the numbers on there would look like they're all blurry and I just could not even understand that foreign language of telling time. Um, also, uh, struggle understanding sarcasm, and also sort of looking disheveled, and having a difficult time knowing when to join into conversations. Um, not understanding when I could join in, and then getting frustrated because I couldn't figure it out, and then the other person would be frustrated as well. All right, and then, that one's, let's see. That's basically the writing sample. I want you guys to think of what the writing sample looked like before that I had, okay? So you remember that one. That's this one here. Now this one is actually a current one I just wrote. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, this one I actually wrote in about three minutes. I was actually just bent over and just quickly wrote it on a chair very quickly. And I didn't have to take a nap. It didn't take 30 to 45 minutes to do. Basically, in the last two years, I have had some remarkable changes that have happened. Um, and basically, that's when I found, and basically walked into my first class of the Hawaiian energetics and felt like I came home. Because for me, it was very helpful for me to get my grounding and being able to figure out how I can relate to the world in the way. I've also now been using this and work along with other practitioners of it um, to help the kids that I also see that are interested in it, um, that I see in psychology. And I find that when we work as a team and working all together, it can be very helpful. Some of the personal benefits that I've received from the Hawaiian treatments. One, you've already seen with the motor skills. Um, the other is increased integration and awareness of body positioning. Um, strengthened visual processing. I am now able to read and actually just, gosh, I think it was about a month ago, I wrote my first uh, poem. <laughs> I did all on my own. I had been a published author too, but I had to do everything by transcribing. I actually got through my doctoral program without reading or writing a book, reading or writing. Everything was done by them reading to me, and then me also just reading it and saying it out loud to other people. That's how I got through my doctoral program. So, <laughs> yep. So basically now it's been such an amazing experience because actually when I was preparing this presentation, um, I've been having some trouble with personal assistance which I bet you guys have had some experiences with, I know, with autism, having assistance and all. Well, I had some problem, and then one of my assistants from about eight, nine months ago came back. She was gone. So she started with me about two and a half years ago. And it was very interesting, because she told me that she had worked for me for about a year. And she's like, you know, in the beginning, you always asked me to read to you things. But by the time I left working with you, you weren't asking me. And when I was then preparing this presentation and she saw the handwriting, she was like, 
whoa, wait a minute. I remember how bad your handwriting was and how hard you couldn't even write one word down. And now you're sitting here writing out this sentence in like two minutes. You weren't even sitting at a table. Like, whoa. So it's been a very interesting experience for me. The other thing is um, I've definitely seen less um, anxiety, um, less hyper and more sense of peace, um, as well as an increased ability to express my authentic self, which I feel is a lot of what we do working with um, children with autism. Because we've basically got to find some way of connecting with them on the level where they're at and finding a way to make that connection so that we can talk the way they can understand it. And then we can make it so that they can then more feel that they can express who they are. And so what I want to do now is pass on to Ed Kualani Spencer, which um, he is one of my, he's my teacher, mentor, friend, and a lot of other things. That is, um, and he's going to explain some about the Hawaiian way. Okay, I have a question. Do I need to use the microphone or can all you hear me in the back? Yay! Okay. And I'm going to come down here because standing up here behind this just seems real natural. Uh, I've got a couple of questions first. How many folks in here are uh, folks who are impacted either personally or with family member with this uh, hand, the autism. Well, how many in here are professionals who are uh, giving service? Okay. How many folks in here are practitioners of some form of alternative therapies? We have to change that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely have to change that. Oh, she, Sarah's going to work this because walking and talking and dealing with those are going to be a little difficult. Yes? I just wanted to say that Okan and I got the computers for the thing. Yes. Why in 
and from the masters that work with alternative treatments. People that have been around a while and are truly masters of their, their practice and their art. What they look for and what they do is they observe the nature and the human application. They take the time and we look at how each of you and I and us are in the current environment, how that manifests and shows itself. And then we set about figuring out a gentle and effective way to communicate. 